they are eager to get him back and going. Wiseman misses the shot, second chance, and he jams it with authority on Baker. Here's Dyson Daniels, has it sent away by Wiseman. Nice, finds Wiseman. Wiseman, look out! A two-hand jam! Mobile big, skilled, can shoot it. Wiseman punishes him inside the right there to give Santa Cruz a seven-point lead. One of 22 on right-wing threes in the regular season. Dyson Daniels blocked by James! You just watched a highlight reel of James Wiseman's time in the NBA G League so far, and as you are about to see in this video, there is plenty more to come. Because if you have forgotten, there has been a lot going on, I wouldn't blame you. At one point in his life, not not too long ago, back in 2018, James Wiseman was regarded as the number one recruit for his age in the entire world. In fact, that lasted for Wiseman's junior and senior seasons of high school and then in college. Despite only playing in three games for Memphis, the Golden State Warriors still selected James Wiseman with the number two pick of the 2020 NBA draft ahead of names such as LaMelo Ball. And uh, seeing as Melo has already made an all-star team in his young career, it appears that James Wiseman has to be an absolute beast in order to justify the Warriors taking him with the number two pick. The question is though, is James Wiseman already that beast and has just been lying in wait? Have James Wiseman's early NBA injuries made us forget about his immense talent and once he returns, how heavily will James Wiseman play not only into this year's NBA playoffs, but how much of an impact will James Wiseman have on the future of the Golden State Warriors and and the future of the NBA in general. Because remember, Jonathan Kaminga played in the G League himself this year for the Warriors, and now in his last 18 games with Golden State in the NBA, Kaminga is averaging about 15 points per game on over 55% shooting. So what's up guys, Mike here, and yes, today we will be discussing one of the biggest mysteries in the NBA today, James Wiseman. And of course, we are going to take a dive into James Wiseman's recent G League games as there have been some extremely promising signs, but at the the end of the day. Wiseman is a seven foot two center who is coming back from an extended injury, which means we're also going to have some rust. As you may have noticed, we are also rocking with a James Wiseman timeline just to keep everything in order here. But let's jump into the G League games because I know that is probably what you're here to see. So headed into game one of James Wiseman's first G League performance of this season, you may notice that James Wiseman has already put on a solid 10 to 15 pounds of muscle to his frame. That is, of course, extremely important for an NBA big. As is his first shot, which was a simple left-handed hook, but as a seven foot two center, that shot is going to be there quite a bit if Wiseman can get position. And the fact that he went to this move so confidently is definitely encouraging. As is both Wiseman's motor and fast twitch muscles on this second play. Because yes, here we have a putback. James Wiseman is simply too big, too strong, too fast at this level. And at the NBA level, yeah, he might not be putting guys to shame like this just yet, but this athleticism doesn't just disappear. From there, in game one, James continued to showcase his speed, as with his height, he did spread apart from the pack in transition, and then he continued to showcase his touch around the basket. Which leads us to the fourth quarter, where James Wiseman knocks down a spot-up jumper, which already looks clean, and if he continues to develop this shot, man, I mean, the NBA, at least on the offensive end, is going to have to watch. Came back, Wiseman did finish with 18 points and 6 rebounds on 7 of 13 shooting in just about 21 minutes. A very solid first game back from injury that Wiseman has continued to build on in games two and three. James would say after this first game, man, it felt like a dream. It had been like 10 months to a year and I was just shocked to be out there, but I was grateful and super appreciative to be out there as well, which are incredible words to hear from James. He has grinded. He has put in the most work possible to return to the game of basketball. And personally to me, seeing this type of work ethic, not only is a giant plus right now, but for his future going forward, this kind of work ethic is what turns players from just good to great NBA players into absolutely elite NBA players. And so looking at game two and game three here, in game two, we immediately see James showcase some dribble moves before he is just too big, too strong, and scores at the basket on a putback. Then off the dribble, this dunk for a 20 year old. The athleticism and skill on offense are clearly there. What is so important at this point is James Wiseman's ability to guard the rim. We do find that in game two, James did finish with two blocks. Here's Dyson Daniels, has it sent away by Wiseman. Coming into this week, he was one of 22 on right wing threes in the regular season. Dyson Daniels blocked by James. 
And in game three, James had three blocks. As Moon has it, just as I said, look at Moon, get to the cup. Oh, nice recovery. What a play by Wiseman. Eight. Can they get back, to, get this back to a double digit lead? Moon, the great block right there. It's Pemberton recovers. Wallace gets it over to Darling. Darling with the step back. Just couldn't get that to go down. And that nice block by Wise. So the raw rim potential is definitely there. This is where James is going to need more and more reps, though, in order to reach the level of potential he has displayed. James is listed between seven foot one and seven foot two with a wingspan of seven foot six or greater, which means, of course, just by nature alone, he already has the tools to be a great defender, especially when you add his athleticism to the mix. In fact, I won't say great defender. He has the tools to become a defensive player of the year. Now, will he ever approach that level? That remains to be seen. Some players do just have better defensive natural instincts than other players. But again, the potential is there and all James Wiseman needs to do in order to reach that potential or at least show us if he is capable of reaching that potential is to get more reps at the NBA level. To me, it is really just that simple. As all the way back in December of 2020, James Wiseman did make his NBA debut with the Warriors and about five weeks later, he became the youngest Warrior to ever score at least 25 points in a single basketball game. But then came his meniscus tear and that has made him such a mystery. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video, it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications. The goal here is to reach 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. I make basketball videos exactly like this one. So if you are enjoying the content, it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get back to the video. Because if you look at a guy like DeAndre Aiden, as a rookie, Aiden wasn't close to the player he is now because playing in Phoenix's system with great coaching, a great atmosphere, and great vets in book and CP3, DeAndre has used his awesome work ethic to full effect and has become one of the key foundational pieces of the Phoenix Suns championship contending roster. The talent for Aiden was always clearly there after games and games of NBA a play, he unlocked it. For Wiseman, that same potential is clearly there too. It also just needs to be unlocked. These G League games are very promising because they show the potential that James Wiseman has is still there. And honestly, when you add in the fact that he has added 10 to 15 pounds of muscle to his frame, I think the NBA should be more scared than ever of James Wiseman. Because if you take the Golden State Warriors and add in a legitimate seven foot two center who is able to actually contribute on offense and defense, just, just contribute. The Warriors are going to be unreal. With the raw talent that James Wiseman already possesses, he is a completely different beast. If James Wiseman is healthy, if he is playing at a high level, the Warriors have a chance to have so many more lineup options available to them for the playoffs that I will reiterate it, the NBA should be scared because the Warriors with even more options on their roster are just simply terrifying. Now as for James Wiseman's return, well, let's let Bob Myers talk about that. Quote, it's kind of up in the air. We're going to have a few days off here and practice together. We'll see how that goes. We'll decide whether he needs another G League game or if he's ready to go and Steve will put him in the rotation. But I think we are getting to some level where maybe it's not Wednesday, maybe it's not Sunday, but putting him in some NBA games and getting him some NBA minutes. If we don't, it's not fair to him or his teammates to just throw him in a playoff game. So as you can see, I'm not and the Warriors are not saying to expect James Wiseman to suddenly look like a new age version of Hakeem Olajuwon, at least at first. Nobody is saying to expect too much when James Wiseman returns. I mean, at the end of the day, he has been injured for almost his entire career. He only played three games in college. James Wiseman, to just put this simply, has not been playing basketball at a very high level for a very long amount of time in the last few years. What I am saying here, though, is that every indication of James Wiseman's return, be it from the people talking about James Wiseman or the obvious progress he has shown to both his body and his game tell us that not only is James Wiseman a potential X factor in this year's playoffs as athletic seven foot two centers do not grow on trees, but that also at this point in time, the Warriors obviously did not trade their former number two pick in some type of package for a more established veteran star. Yes, names like Damian Lillard and Bradley Beal were floated out there and then that didn't work out, but Golden State could have made some kind of move other than acquiring one of those two players. They could have made a run at someone like Jeremy Grant, who may not be an absolute all-star talent, but may be good enough to push the needle for the Warriors this season. Instead, Golden State did not take any James James Wiseman offers, and that is because they believe that the potential he is showcasing as a player is a lot 
a lot more potential than any player they could bring in for him has. For now though, there we have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always guys, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.